Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trading. It's coming to you live from Bangkok, Thailand, guys. It's a great time to be alive. And, uh, you know, we got lots to talk about. Looks like Dogecoin is about to break the internet, guys. I'm going to talk about that. Looks like Dogecoin and, you know, the amount of uh, tweets that's going out, the amount of social posts that's going out. And we're also seeing a huge, 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 huge Dogecoin uh, wallets are transferring Doge. So things are looking pretty good. Things are absolutely looking pretty good for Dogecoin. And and you know, why do I say that Dogecoin is breaking the internet? Because we're seeing more and more social engagement on Twitter, on Facebook. We're even seeing more and more TikTok, tickety TikToks about a Dogecoin. So that is great, guys. We're also seeing a lot of YouTube shorts as well about a Dogecoin. So remember, Dogecoin is breaking the internet, guys. So you guys should be pretty happy. We're going to talk about Dogecoin. We're going to be talking about the price. We're going to be talking about where I can see it. We're also going to be talking about Shiba Inu and the prices and everything. We're also going to be talking about uh, what's going on with Bitcoin right now. And we're going to be talking about the markets and some of the macroeconomic data, guys. So if this sounds interesting, and if you guys are interested in knowing why, why the Dozier, Wozier is breaking in, we got the, I don't know if you can see, we got the alien behind me, the alien behind me, and we got the, the we got the tuk-tuk, guys. We got the Bangkok, the beautiful tuk-tuk from Thailand, guys. Tuk-tuk. So if you guys are in uh, Bangkok, guys, get out here. Get out here right now. It's a great time to be alive, guys. So smash the like, subscribe, and show some love for the OG. I really appreciate it. So if we take a look at the heat heat map right now, so right now, right now, we're seeing that Ethereum is starting to go up, guys. We're at 1%. We we're not out of the woods yet. We're seeing we're seeing that Bitcoin is also, you know, it's been flashing green and red right now. And that is pretty good news. We're seeing that overall the markets right now are are neutral. We're seeing it's pretty much neutral. You know, from my perspective, you know, 0.37% is about neutral out there. So we, we, we could we could flip green, we could flip red, or we could just close flat, guys. So that's what's going on. We're also seeing that the uh, the home sales fell nearly 6% in July as housing market slides into recession, guys. So uh, it's confirmed, you know, sales of houses are going down. Also remember, because of the rate hike, it's going to cost you more to buy a house out there. So we're seeing that housing prices are going down, uh, sales are going down. Uh, it's not good for the economy, guys. Also. So it looks like the jobless claim, claims, 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 claims came out, and it looks like the jobless claims are uh, they've gone down, guys. So we were expected 260,000, and this uh, in August only 220, 250,000 in July. So that is pretty good news out there, but that's not having much of an impact on the markets, guys. Fear and greed we talked about. Right now we're seeing that Ethereum is starting to, uh, you know, starting to recover a little bit, but it keeps getting rejected right here, guys. Let me get that get that mess out of the, out of the way there and get all that mess there. We go so we're seeing that ethereum is getting rejected at the two thousand dollar level it got rejected once twice three times uh fourth time it started to break up and it got it got rejected so right now we're just kind of going sideways a little bit neutral waiting for uh bitcoin to blast off and if it does if it does then it's going to be okay guys so let's keep on keeping on we're seeing that bitcoin is still still going down it's just it's just sitting at two thousand twenty three thousand four hundred fifty seven and uh you know if it if it if it if it hits this if it's this, it hits this upper uh, trending line right here, as you guys can see over there, I don't know what direction you're looking at. If it goes below there, then we're going to definitely go retesting 22,600. And as I talked about in my previous videos, if we can't uh, maintain the 22,600, then we're looking at 21,300 being the next target. So guys, buckle up, buckle up. It's going to get, it's going to get insane in the membrane. The weekly's not looking good. Uh, also, guys, coming in, you can see that the uh, top 10 mentioned coins on Twitter in the last hour. You can see that Dogecoin. Uh, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu are almost neck and neck. Shiba Inu is is it, it, still it's still you know we're seeing that, that there was a flip about two days ago where Shiba Inu was trending had more posts uh, than uh, than Dogecoin, but now it's flipped back, guys. So that is why Dogecoin is about to break the internet because we're seeing more and more retail investors starting to, to get back into the Doja Warrior. And that is why I, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. See the finger? I'm calling you guys out. Calling you guys out right now. Can you feel my finger banging on your head? Pop, 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 pop. I'm calling you out. You've got to get to Twitter. Hashtag buy Dogecoin now. That's all you got to do. Go out there. I've been buying Dogecoin every day. I've been buying like 100 bucks of Dogecoin every single day since I did the Dogecoin challenge. Guys, you guys can see the Dogecoin challenge right here. I did the Dogecoin challenge, the, you know, pow! Dogecoin to $1 challenge, guys. So the only way we can get the Doge Warrior up and get it going and get that dollar that we want is we've got to keep the, we've got to, we've got to break the internet. And the only way we can do that is tweety, tweet, tweet, 
repost tweets, retweet tweets, get on Facebook, get on everything, get on YouTube, get on whatever it takes, get the message out there, get more social engagement because that's how we're going to get the Dogecoin moving, guys. We definitely got to get the Dogecoin moving. This also is coming, woof, we had, a, we had almost $9 million worth of Dogecoin move today from one unknown wallet to another, guys. So there is movement, guys, get hashtag dogecoin hashtag buy dogecoin now get it out there guys i'm telling you get it out there get it out there if you love the dogecoin do your part don't sit on your don't sit on your butt cheeks and do nothing and whinge and whine when the price is going down be an active participant in this whole dogecoin community guys and the only way you guys can do that is get out there and do it guys just get out there tweety tweet tweet what else is coming in now i've been talking about this doge chain guys and i just want to clarify something for everybody out there remember the doge chain has no affiliation from the dogecoin foundation so get that out of your head doge the doge chain is basically evm uh, ethereum virtual machine and uh, compatible right so what it does and remember the doge chain is built on the polygon blockchain and it's an evn and what it does is it wraps doge and so it can be so it can be compatible with the ethereum virtual machine and that way you can do DeFi, you can do staking and all that kind of stuff so when i talk about doge chain i'm not talking about the token okay i'm talking about the ability to wrap doge so you can use it on the Ethereum virtual machine. So that allows you to have access to smart contracts, NFTs, gaming, DeFi, okay? So I'm not talking about token. And keep in mind, this is nothing not, not authorized by the Dogecoin Foundation. So just keep that in mind, guys. So, you know, okay? So I'm not talking about the token. I'm talking about the EVN compatible machine basically the bridge guys so doge chain isn't a true layer two so get that in your head because if it was a true layer two it would have been built on top of the doge coin blockchain and it ain't so it ain't a true layer two uh, network it's not built on top of doge coin instead it's a separate network based on the polygon edge the polygon network right which is a custom blockchain software from polygon the most ethereum side chain and it's compatible with uh, uh, ethereum virtual machine all right so basically it's a bridge it's a bridging it's a bri it's a bridge between dogecoin and uh, the ethereum virtual machine and that's what allows you that's what allows you when you wrap it and it gets converted it allows you to interact with staking DeFi, okay nfts and all that stuff okay so if you're a newbie it's going to be complicated it's going to be complicated for you to basically connect your wallet bridge it wrap it and stake it okay so be careful guys so you know ethereum side chain and it's, it's uh, compatible with uh, ethereum virtual machine which means it can be used to run uh on games built for ethereum okay so apps and games that are built for for ethereum so keeping that in mind guys got to keep that in mind so you know please be careful out there i'm not shilling the, the i'm not shilling the the doge chain token no i'm talking about the evn compatibility of this polygon side chain that allows you to wrap your existing doge and port it over to uh, ethereum so you can do DeFi. that's that's all that that's what i'm talking about this is going to add an additional layer of utility to doge and that's why it's so so important guys so please keep that in mind don't get confused uh, out there this has got nothing to do with dogecoin foundation it's completely separate okay someone basically built a bridge okay built a bridge so you can take your doge or wozier okay uh, you know this is the doge okay so you can take the doge and you can bridge it over to the ethereum and then once it once it's wrapped okay it's wrapped in a layer it's wrapped so it's still a there it's still doge but the uh, uh, ethereum virtual machine can read it write it and basically then you can the ethereum virtual machine you can treat it like a smart contract okay that's basically what it is in a nutshell so don't panic out there don't get me confused. So JustinCrypto.com confirms it will support Ethereum's merge to proof of stake. Fantastic. I'm happy to hear that. Remember, when the merge happens, you don't have to do anything with Ethereum. It'll automatically be converted. Justin, Binance US has been granted a money transmitter license. So this is huge, huge, huge news you woozy for uh, big, uh, Binance. This is cool, guys. So it looks like we can see that the RSI for Bitcoin is breaking the trend. Uh, this is uh, this is this is not uh, this is not uh, bullish, guys. This is bearish. If this continues, then Bitcoin will be going down, 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 down. I have a feeling that we're going to see a huge retest 
uh, of the downward support for Bitcoin. That's going to take Bitcoin down. Uh, but then there's going to be a big build up, big explosion, right? So it looks like also Ethereum is uh, retesting a critical weekly resistance that we've seen. And that re weekly resistance is around about 18, 18, 1,880 around that area, guys. So we're retesting that. If we cannot get above this, uh, you know, red box, we're going to be going down like the Titanic. Ka -cha, ka -cha -cha. So this is in from uh, Titan of Crypto. As you can see here, you know, if you look at the net realized pro uh, profit and loss, we are uh, we are uh, where are the big profits uh, taking that indicate we're in a distribution phase followed by another big flush. So as he believes and as I believe, I think there's going to be a, another big flush out, guys. And with that, many people are having sold at a loss. So a lot of people, you know, after we had this pump, there was a bit of FOMO. People did buy in. We're going to get back down again. And people are starting to, a little bit of panic selling out there. So I think there's going to be a big flush. The paper hands are going to get flushed out. There's going to be a retracement down, guys. And then we're going to go back up again. So watch out for that. That's what I'm thinking. That's what you should be thinking too. Remember, none of this is financial advice. Remember, like I said in my previous video, the absolute lows that we could retest is 12 to 14K. So get ready for that, guys. Absolutely get ready. Uh, let's take a look what's going on with Doja Woja right now. Doja Woja is still at 0, 8, 10, So that's fantastic news. Absolutely fantastic news. Let's take a look what's going on with the Shibi Weeby right now. Shibi Weeby is kind of just on trains. It's just going, and we see this Doji candle spinning top. The market doesn't know which way it's going, up or down. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Let me block, block that. So we already talked about Ethereum. We're not going to talk about it again. Uh, let's take a look, look at the uh, Leverage Apezoids in the house. Let me give this a minute to refresh. And then we'll let you get out of here. Just a quick update, guys. A quickie, quickie update out there. Uh, so we see that, you know, basically nobody's leverage trained. What happened to leverage trades? Did they learn the lesson? <laughs> what happened? You know, this is uncanny, guys. It's Thursday and there's nobody, there's nobody leverage trading. That is good. When, when the leverage traders stop leverage trading, it's going to allow the markets to kind of uh, refresh, start to build a natural momentum. Uh, and when there's no leverage trading, then the market makers are like, they're not going to play their whalish games, right? So because there's no there's no liquidity to take out of the market because no one's leverage trading. So this is good, guys. And this could have a nice boost effect for all the cryptocurrencies. So I'm loving it. We're seeing 88.73% long. I wouldn't worry about it too much. There's not a lot not a lot of liquidity in the market right now in terms of uh, uh, leverage traders. So I, I don't think that we're going to see the market makers uh, doing any manipulation right now. I, I wouldn't expect it. It's just too low. What else we got coming in right now? We got the total market cap. Let me give this some into refresh. I don't believe it. Don't trust it. We're seeing the market cap right Right now is about 1.15 trillion we're seeing a volume 41.58 light and we're seeing the bitcoin dollars is unchanged so basically we are seeing right now that as i said in my previous video we're probably going to flip green and we are flipping green right now and things are looking good not fantastic things are looking better so that is good news guys so everything's going up a little bit doja wars are still in the negative zone we're seeing Shibi, oh, I'm the Shibi, Shibi got kicked in the, Shibi got, got kicked in the pants, I don't know what's going on with the sheep. Uh, but everything is starting to slowly turn green, so hopefully as the day progresses, uh, things will be looking better, guys. So it is what it is. Uh, I just want to say, say, have a great day, guys. I have a fantastic day. Don't forget to go follow me on my Twitter, guys. Go follow, follow, follow. Get out of there. Uh, go follow me on Twitter. I appreciate it. And uh, show some love, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, smash the likes, and uh, do it for the OG, guys. You like the face? You like to put them there? You got you got the face here and you got the face there. You, I love it. You love it. And uh, don't forget, if you want to know where all the if you want to know where all the links are, you just go down here. Bing, bing, bing. The links are down there. Bam, 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 bam. And you'll get the links, guys. So it's a crazy time to be alive. Don't forget to uh, check out the merch, guys. Get the merch. Gear up with the OG gear. I love it. You love it. I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheer up. Be blessed. Be well. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Woo.